OpenAI is projecting to incur significant losses estimated at uh, 8.5 billion for the year. And, uh, or, and they have a, a, a many billions of dollars agreement with Oracle now, basically to buy cloud services. And this is highlighting the disconnect between spending and actual profitability. So one doesn't equal the other. In other words, if I'm selling to an end user organization, I'm certainly going to consider that as revenue. And if I'm doing that over and above my cost, that's going to be profit. But these deals are kind of strange. So even though they're counting or they're trying to account them as revenue, um, in essence, like I mentioned earlier, it's just the circular movement of resources from one thing or from one one place to the other. Again, not an investment a professional, you know, not a stock market analyst, and definitely not a lawyer. But that seems a little uh, uh, a little odd to me. And you guys can make your own decisions. But I figured I'd do a show and bring it up and put, you know put bring it to your attention. Surveys indicate that ninety five percent of companies are investing in AI. Uh, are not realizing the returns. We talked about this before. The majority of people who are working AI projects, 95% according to MIT, aren't getting value back from those projects. And so that hasn't occurred yet. So we have an odd point in history where all these people are using AI, the end user organizations, and according to the studies we're seeing, are failing at it. Yet we have many of these tech companies that are doing that are booming, but they're not selling to those end users. They're in essence selling to each other for the majority of you know the majority of times. So that doesn't mean they're not selling to end users, but the large meta deals that we're seeing out there, the mega deals we're seeing out there, with several billions of dollars, that's just selling between themselves. We haven't seen you know uh, companies you know like General Motors or uh, you know big banks like Bank of America step up and do these multi-billion dollar deals as of yet. We're going to see probably some of those coming up pretty soon, but we're looking at these large meta, mega deals out there. They're all technology players to technology players. So the core issue is, are AI valuations being artificially inflated uh, through technology to technology company deals that we just talked about?